Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today's video will be on GTA 5, the best settings and changes to improvise your gameplay and performance. But before that, I really wanna thank you guys a lot because I was offline since last 20 days. I was not feeling well and I am COVID positive as of today. So I hope you guys keep up your support. Also, thanks a lot for 22,000 subscribers. I seriously do appreciate you guys a lot. Still, I have seen that 98% of you guys haven't yet subscribed so consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon let's hit 50,000 subscribers asap and with all that said let's roll the intro All right, let's move in stepwise. Step number one is creating a restore point, and this is just a really important step. For this, press your Windows key and then type in create a restore point. And then over here in the protection settings, scroll all the way down until you find your local disk C or any local disk which has this Windows icon over here. This means that your Windows is installed in this specific local disk. Now click on configure and then make sure to turn on system protection is enabled over here. Now. Click on create and then name it GTA 5 FPS pack. So you know that after this point, your FPS pack has been added to your system. Now let your PC take its time creating the restore point. This is just a fail safe method so that if anything goes wrong, you can revert back all the changes. Once it's done, it will show the system restore point was created successfully. Click on close and close this and let's move to the second step. Now second step is downloading the FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Now once you've downloaded this FPS pack, you will need RR or 7-zip to extract it. So all you have to do is open it up and then extract it like this. And I'll just skip it because I've done it already. So here is the FPS pack. You'll find it four folders over here similar to these. Now, click on optimization and then right click and merge all of them. They have their specific functions and they work respective to their name. This will optimize your CPU, this will disable two of the DVRs, this will put GTA 5 on high priority, this will increase your PC's responsiveness and this will fix screen optimization. These are the six optimizations that you need to merge into your PC. Don't worry, they are all safe. Nextly, go to commands.txt, right click and then hit edit. Now in here you'll find something called ultimate performance plan. Just copy this code and then open up your CMD as administrator. And now over here, just paste this code, hit enter and then go to your control panel then over here search for power options now once you're here you'll find ultimate performance over here just click on ultimate performance and then minimize for launch option you have to open up your steam or epic games wherever you own gta 5 for me it is on steam so all you have to do is right click on that go to properties and over here on launch option paste this code and then close it Then, FPS Boost Programs. In here, you'll find three programs, ISLC, Mem Reduct, and Quick CPU. Open up ISLC and run this as administrator. All right, ISLC opens up like this. Now, over here, first, for the list size at least, it should be 1024 MB, and free memory lower than should be half of your total system memory. As you guys can see, I have 16,333 MB, so half of it approximately is 8,000. Then, wanted timer resolution should be 0.50, and both of these options should be checked on. For ISLC polling rate, go for 1,000 and then click on Start. Also, click on Per Standby List. Now, minimize ISLC and let it run in the background. Then the next program is memreduct and this is just a setup. Install memreduct and open it up. Now here is a simple demonstration of how memreduct actually works. As you guys can see I have a 46% memory usage in my PC as of now. As soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, the memory usage falls down. This is because memreduct allows you to clean unnecessary usage of memory, allowing the memory to perform freely. 
I highly recommend you guys to run Memreduct each time you open up your game. Next is Quick CPU. Install Quick CPU and run this as administrator. Quick CPU will open up like this. Let it load for a while and then over here make sure that all of these three things are working on 100% and then click on apply. Then go to memory and then this thing does the same as Memreduct does. Just click on all three of these things and then click on clean. Then close and close. Now last but not the least are the config files and these are the most important files that you need to take care of. The first one is for low end settings. Now over here you'll find a settings.xml and these are for the medium end settings. So if you have a very low end PC without graphics card and with low RAM, you guys can use this one and if you have a graphics card which is like GTX series, you guys can use medium end settings. Just copy this settings xml file and then go to your documents and over here search for Rockstar Games then GTA 5 and then over here you'll find settings.xml just take it to your desktop and then paste the new one over here. I've taken this file to desktop to keep the backup so that if that file does not work for me or it crashes my game, I can just copy this file back to there and then I can rerun the game normally. Now this concludes our FPS pack. If all of those steps above doesn't help you, you can search for graphic settings over here. And over here, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Then go to browse, go to the download location of your GTA 5 and then add gta5.exe and then go to options and then click on high performance. Now over here go back and then search for display settings. And now scroll down until you find advanced display settings and then make sure to use the highest refresh rate possible. Now if all that didn't work for you Download ExitLag from the link in the description below. ExitLag is pro's choice to reduce lag and get better ping. Now, it has a list of 250 games to choose from and you guys can search for GTA 5. And then click on the second option and then click on apply routes. Now go to tools and then go to FPS boost, enable the first, fourth and last two options. Then minimize exit lag. Exit lag is free to use for three days, but after that, you guys have to buy the uh, subscription for exit lag. As you guys can see, you guys can get monthly, semi annual, or quarter subscription as per as your choice. But if you think that these prices are high, don't worry because I got you covered. If you guys use Bearfox 20 for your first purchase, you guys will get flat 20% off on any of these plans. So make sure to choose it wisely. Now, let's run GTA 5 and then perform the in game settings. Okay, once you are logged into GTA 5, press your escape key and then go to settings. In here, go to graphics and then use DirectX version 11. And then your resolution, you can lower the resolution but native resolution gives you better FPS. For refresh rate, make sure to go for your display refresh rate. Turn off FXAA, MSAA, Resync and then all of these things should be taken down. Then for texture quality, go for normal, normal. For reflection, MSAA, you can pre you can get for 2x. For water quality, you guys can go for high because water isn't everywhere. For particle quality, go to normal. For grass quality, go to normal. Soft shadows should be um, softest. And then post FX should be normal. Anisotropic filtering should be turned off. Ambient occlusion should be turned off. Tessellation should be turned off. And then click on apply changes.
Now go to advanced settings and then make sure that long shadows are turned off, high resolution shadows are turned off and then high detail streaming while flying is turned off. Also extend distance scaling should be taken down. As you guys can see my video memory falls as I do these things. You have to make sure that you're using the lowest video memories. Alright, so these are the best settings for GTA 5. I hope I had helped you. If I did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, thanks a lot for sticking around my channel and supporting me for a long time. See y'all in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Fox, and peace out.